everyone. Um, I just want to do a quick video for visceral somatics. This is definitely going to help a lot um, for any sort of OMM exam that you might have, OMT exam, or the any upcoming COMLEX exam you might have. It, it'll even ha help with um, even allopathic stuff. Um, but uh, you might have heard the, of this, this concept or seen it on the internet, and um, I just wanted to do it in a more cleaner format other than a whiteboard and um, the whole concept is basically just follow drawing the lines um, and it all comes together in the end and it's, it's pretty simple and uh, it makes it all really easy anyways let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get on a whiteboard and just number number it from 1 to 12 and then um, add 1 2 at the end of that so that's T1 to T12 and then L1 and L2 uh, next thing you want to do is draw a big rectangular box and then go ahead and split that box up into three. Uh, so the first thing you want to do from there, once you've got this all set up, is go ahead and draw a line at L or T4. All right. Then you're going to go ahead and draw a line at T5. Then you're going to draw a line at T6. And I'm drawing them right at that number. So now it looks like a stair step right here. So the next thing you're going to do is going to go ahead and draw a double line at 9. And you're going to draw a double line at 11. Okay, so now that you have this set up, there's just a few more boxes you have to make. And first you want to do is go ahead and extend this one out. And you're going to make almost like an additional box. And it'll make sense whenever we do it. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and draw a line at 10 over here, and a line at 1. All right, and then finally the last thing you need to do is go ahead and draw this over to the side, a big box out here at two. So start at two to two. All right. All right, so now you're basically now ready to start labeling. And so in the first box right here, what I like to do is just sort of quickly, roughly do it, and I just do THL. So this is going to stand for thyroid, heart, lungs. So THL, and then you're going to have right here your pancreas, your stomach, and your liver and your gallbladder. I'll just put that as GB. Then you have your small intestine. Let's put small in there. Then we'll go ahead and do 
this one's the easiest one, and it's just legs. Let me just put this right in the middle. It takes up both of them. So looking at this, from 1 to 4, we have the thyroid. From 1 to 5, we have the heart. From 1 to 6, we have the lungs. And this one is kind of odd, but it's from 5 to 11 instead of 4 to 11. I like to draw like a dashed line and sort of color this in so I know that it's from 5 to 11. And then from 5 to 9, you have um, the stomach. And then from 6 to 9, you have the liver and gallbladder. And then from 9 to 11, you have the small intestine. And then from 11 to, to 2, you have the legs. And... At the end, I'll go ahead and put up a, uh, a picture of the visceral somatic chart so you guys can see that and see how it's per it perfectly matches up um, with, with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish off this chart. And this one's going to be ovaries and fallopian tubes. Make this a little bit smaller. And then this is going to be uterus, so what's underneath the ovaries and um, fallopian tubes is the uterus. And then if you're a female, and then if you're a male, you're going to have the prostate right here. And then I like to think of this pretty easy, but these two upper boxes are just going to be testes and epididymis both of these and then finally the one with the most you have the kidneys the ureters and the bladder okay and that all corresponds to what you'll see on your visceral somatic chart so now we basically filled out everything, almost all your visceral somatics. The only thing is we have this box over here to take care of. Um, and to take care of that, um, I like to go ahead and draw a line at 8. And in the video, see the guy, he'll just, he'll just put it right here at 8. But I like to, I'll, I'll show you what I like to do. But right here, you're going to have um, arms from 2 to 8. And then over here, you'll have the colon. And so what I like to do is I like to also draw a line at 10. And then sort of sort of the same thing how I do over here. I, I draw a dashed line, and then I sort of color this in at, at 5. I draw a dashed line at 10 and sort of color this in. And then you can break down the colon into at, uh, at 1, and you can separate it from... T10 to T12, you have the ascending colon, and from L1 to L2, you have the descending colon. Um, and then you have some specialized ones um, that you can label, um, but they're pretty easy to remember. Um, so at 9, you'll have the gallbladder, and then at 10, at, uh, excuse me, at 12, you'll have the uh, appendix. And I, I put them off to the side just because you'll probably get a question on that, and it'll just be... Um, It'll just be a really quick answer. Um, so yeah, right there, you, you have the whole visceral somatics chart. Um, and the hardest part, honestly, is just memorizing the lines. And this is bothering me. I kind of want to do this just because it's... I like to do that. Um, so this is what my chart looked like and how I draw it on the test. Um, but yeah, learn the lines. It Really, the hardest part is learning the lines and then... The way I put it in my head is just THL, PSL, small intestines, and legs. And you really, you're just walk, walking yourself down the body. And then this whole chart over here is the GU system. And then you're just left with your arms and your colon right here. Um, but yeah, uh, I really hope this is helpful.